Hey guys, welcome back to another stencil tutorial. Uh, this time I want to look at how we can, uh, after you create an inventory button or any clickable button on your screen, you want that button to stick with your game. And uh, as this game is compiling, we'll see very shortly uh, what I mean by that. So we've got a monkey character here. Uh, I've created an inventory button here. And we'll also address one more issue in a moment here. Uh, so when I walk, uh, the inventory button is, uh, I guess, uh, it's not sticking with the game. And so I can't access my inventory unless I'm at this part of the screen, right? So if I, it doesn't matter if I click over here, right? I have to click on my inventory button and then resets the whole screen. So I'll address um, the monkey's position being reset in a different tutorial. But this time, let's look at how we can get our inventory button to uh, stay with our monkey as he goes on his journey. Let's get started. Okay, um, so what we need to do is we need to add some code to our inventory button actually. And uh, it's actually this part right here, but I'll repeat it one more time together with you guys. We're gonna add a basic event when updating. And what we want to do is we want to set the X and Y coordinates of our character. So one is X, one is Y. Two, and uh, do a search over here for camera. And uh, we want the X coordinate of the camera as well as the Y coordinate of the camera. And we're gonna explore very shortly of what these things do. Okay, but let's add this first and we'll actually see that this will give us a, a desirable solution already. I'm going to remove my previous code. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, it's done some loading up. And we can see our inventory button is in the top left-hand corner this time. However, if I move my monkey, right, so you can see our banana here, so we know we're progressing a little bit further into our game, the inventory button uh, stays with our monkey on his journey. And that's, that's a good thing. Um, now you might ask, where can I, how can I place my inventory button into maybe this corner here or over here? Let's get back into our game and look at that. So, uh, the X and Y coordinate of the camera is actually right here in the top left-hand corner of our screen. And if we look at stencil, uh, if we look at our X and Y coordinates, right? If you move your mouse around, right? So this is the X and Y coordinates of, uh, of your screen or wherever your mouse is. So if we look up here, this is zero, zero, right? So that's one, one, and somewhere up there, right, there's zero, zero. So, that's actually where the camera is right now. That's the X and Y coordinates of the camera. So what we can always we can actually do is we can tell the computer to move the inventory button, uh, move it in relative position of uh, of the camera. So what that really means, uh, how do we actually do that? Is we can actually just perform some simple arithmetic, perform some addition. So rather than placing it at the X coordinate of the camera, which is zero zero we just add a little bit more to it, okay? How much we add uh, is probably something that you will learn to play around with. Uh, but for now, let's uh, add, uh, I don't know, let's add 50 units. And why I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want it to be further down here. So uh, I'm gonna add about 400 or so units actually to my Y. Okay, you can experiment a little bit yourself. But wherever you place your mouse, if you want the button to be there, just place your mouse there and use those X and Y coordinates. So if I want about here or so, I should use 25, 27, and 419. Okay, so just round that down, 25 and 419, to round it down to 400. Okay, let's test my scene out. Okay, if you want a little bit further over, then increase your X uh, direction a little bit more.
Okay, so there it is. It's, it's moved down. And if we move along with our monkey, the inventory button stays with us. It works. Okay. And in our next tutorial, we'll look at uh, how we can prevent our monkey from being reset. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.